Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Roshan and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to enable Windows Sandbox on your Windows 10 PC. So Windows Sandbox is a new feature available on Windows 10. It will be available on the April 2019 update. So if you don't know what is Windows Sandbox, Windows Sandbox is a virtual Windows environment where you can test your Windows 10 builds or you can test out the softwares if you think uh, it is prone to some malware or a trojan or a virus you can test the software out then you can uh, uh, finally test the test it on your main pc so anything that happens in sandbox stays in sandbox so i'm going to show you how to enable windows sandbox because by default windows sandbox is not enabled on windows 10 pc and there are software and hardware requirements uh, for a windows sandbox to run so let me show you for that first you need to go to search and type in windows uh, features so uh, as you can see turn windows features on or off click on that so as you can see we have lots of features here enabled and disabled in here so as you can see to the bottom we have windows sandbox which is uh, not enabled by default so the software requirements so let me talk about the requirements windows sandbox is not available for windows 10 home it is uh, it is available for uh, windows 10 pro and up so that is uh, the software requirement and the hardware requirement your uh, graphics processor need to have the virtualization capability so if your hardware or software is not uh, compliant with its requirements then it will be grayed out like this as you can see windows defender application guard is grayed out and it, it is not available on this pc in that way it will be grayed out if it is not compliant with the hardware or software requirements but mine supports both uh, hardware and software as you can see i'm running windows 10 pro and i'm running windows 10 build 18841 so this is part of the 20h1 development branch and if you want to see the build reviews of the this particular thing then i'm gonna uh, put a link down in the description or you can see a card up here and if you want to download the test builds uh, so i'll put a links down in the description or i'll put a card up here so you can watch the video and if it is all set for you like uh, it's shown in my pc then just uh, just select that and click ok so as you can see it is asking us to restart now or don't restart so i'm going to show you more about the windows sandbox after restarting my pc so i'm going to click restart now so i restarted my pc now let's search for windows sandbox so as you can see i'm going to just click this so as you can see uh, we are now inside the sandbox it represents the basic operating system that we're using right now so the wallpaper has is when to default the, the shortcut for edge and the recycle bin when you start a fresh operating system windows 10 operating system how is the environment that's how the windows sandbox will look and it is a closed environment as you can see the difference between my original desktop and the sandbox desktop so the theme is different the the wallpaper is different everything is different so let me go to the full screen and as you can see uh, we have a top uh, title bar something like that uh, which you can pin or we uh, you can unpin them so it will go up difference i'm gonna just search for eagle get uh, i have a downloader here which is eagle get so this is the eagle get downloader that i'm using so if I search the same thing in my uh, Windows Sandbox so as you can see I don't have the application installed inside the Sandbox because Sandbox is pretty basic operating system it has no uh, uh, third party installed applications available here so I just show you just to clarify that both are different and it is an enclosed environment so let me show you as you can see uh, the files uh, there are lots of files in my computer but there is nothing on this uh, windows sandbox because as you can see the local disk size is only about 40 gigabytes i'm gonna open the edge browser so i'm gonna simply download notepad plus plus so let me search for notepad plus plus well if you're not aware of notepad plus plus it's a it's an alternative to your native notepad on your windows pc so yes we are going to download that so notepad plus plus is very basic software and uh, it's very small in size and if you download from unknown sources there may be malware or uh, trojan uh, embedded into the uh, software itself so you need to be careful while installing software from third party so as you can see this is the notepad plus plus and this is installed on our sandbox not on our main pc so 
so i will show you that so as you can see here the notepad plus plus installed on a sandbox now so let me show you if it is installed on my main pc so let me search for no so as you can see there is no notepad plus plus installed because it is totally isolated from the main desktop and nothing affects from what happens inside the sandbox and if i close the sandbox you can see this warning message are you sure you want to close windows sandbox once windows sandbox is closed all of its content will be discarded and permanently lost so if i click ok it closes away and uh, hopefully you like this video and yes uh, if you like this video please hit the like button share with your friends subscribe to my channel when you subscribe please hit the bell notification icon and i hope to see you guys in the next video thank you for watching bye bye